Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Jessica Crawford. Let's get right to our top stories for Friday. Former Douglas County School Superintendent Corey Wise is now claiming that he was unlawfully fired. Wise says he was fired because he supported the school district's in school mask mandate and equity policy. The newly elected majority opposed both. Wise's attorneys say they're prepared to take this to trial. We've reached out to Douglas County Schools for reaction to the complaint. A spokesperson said the district didn't have a response at this time. The Colorado State Board of Education has voted to give the Adams 14 School District another month to come up with an improvement plan, but they must accept help from an outside manager. The district has been battling a poor performance and low graduation rates for more than a decade. They recently terminated a contract with another company that was contracted to help manage its turnaround. Aurora's Department of Public Safety says it has decreased the records backlog from 2,500 crime reports to less than 400. A report obtained by Denver 7 showed those crime reports included murder, child sex abuse, and carjacking. The department says they did not keep track of what remote workers were doing while at home. Now here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. It's going to be a beautiful end of the week. It was once again windy yesterday. Not as gusty as what we saw yesterday. Right now, you're waking up to 30s this morning, and there will be a little mix of sunny clouds for the early morning drive. Nice warm up. It's going to be warmer than yesterday. We'll be in the low to mid 50s by about 10 o'clock, and then low to mid 60s for highs this afternoon. We have Denver at right around 65, between about 4 and 5. More 40s for the mountains. Uh, we'll still see a few spotty light snow showers in the mountains today, but fire danger remains high. As those winds pick up, we'll see gusts right around 35 miles per hour. Red flag warnings cover most of southern and southeastern Colorado.